so data visualization is my major. Um, I first came to Purdue with a marketing degree, and I had a lot of different meetings with my current research mentor, um, Dr. Bird, and she was like, oh, you seem super interested, you should work in our um, biz lab, the Bird Data Visualization Lab. And so last summer, as a volunteer, um, data visualization research, the literature review. Some of the students who worked in the lab with me on um, adult lupus data. So lupus is a disease that's really hard to diagnose, and especially for adolescents, it's their mortality rate is really high. So I can see how the research that I'm doing right now in like expanding the scientific field for this will encourage others to look more into lupus data. I feel like not a lot of people know that they're diagnosed with it. It's so similar to other autoimmune diseases. Um, ways that like symptoms manifest themselves are through like dermatological kind of things. So like there's the malar rash and then there's also like um, dysphoids you can get on your arms and like skin. So that makes it other so similar to other autoimmune diseases. So that's why it's difficult to diagnose. Um, in Dr. Bird's lab, she's always spoken to me about how everything that we do in the lab can be and should be applied to other autoimmune diseases. So even through like the research that I'm doing right now, if I figure out a specific system for helping to diagnose, say, lupus, that specific system may also be able to be applied to other um, diseases. So, and then again, like expand this into This semester, I'm working with IRB approved data from Rhinus Children's Hospital. Um, I got it from collaborators from there. So we're planning on using Sinoscape to make green graphs. That way that our collaborators can better understand their data and then they can provide us with more like specific research questions. Don't let anybody's opinion sway you from doing what you want to do. Um, initially, I never thought I would go into STEM. I was originally in Craner, so I never thought that would be something I'd be interested in at all. So that was a big surprise to me. And I think that's because in my school it wasn't typically um, encouraged. So I feel like I would have gotten into my field a little bit earlier if I had a little bit more, um, many more people saying like, you should check out mathematics, you should check out the check out technology. Because it was never like something that I thought of when I graduated. Um, I'd like to be a data visualization scientist. I think that'd be a great career to have. Um, I'm really interested in analytics too. So I'd love to work for that, I'd love to travel, um, I'd really love to like see how I can improve, help companies improve and see things that they don't see, especially with data being so, it can be so huge and it can be so complicated and messy and you don't want to touch it. So with data viz, you can go in and play with the data and make it more understandable, you can make it more pleasing to the eye, so once you understand the data, you can explain it to so many other people. That's the great thing about data viz, is that you have the opportunity to teach somebody who maybe knows so much about like certain a specific type of field, but then you can also explain the same thing to like kid, kindergarten.